right, so we're going to have a look at a Bon Jovi 80s classic. Uh, it's called Wanted Dead or Alive. It's a nice one. Might not be everyone's cup of tea, but it's got a nice picking pattern that runs down. So it's, this is the intro riff. It goes something like this. <laughs> Okay, so I'll tell you two little things about this. We'll just work on the picking pattern and then the shapes I'm using and then I'll tell you where to put the shapes. So the picking pattern starts with the thumb always on the fourth string. Uh, first finger on the third string and you could use your second finger or this, this uh, ring finger here on the first string. So fourth string, third, first, third. So you're skipping out your second string solo. And that's what it does all the way. And then towards the end you pinch all three of them. And then you pinch them all again. So. And then pinch them. Okay, so what shapes are happening here is your second finger is constantly on the third string. And what happens is you've either got this shape or this shape. So this shape is where the notes are parallel. So if you see a number like 5-5, five five, you know it's going to be this shape because that's on the fifth fret and that's on the fifth fret. If you see a shape that says 5-4, you know that that's going to be the fifth shape, fifth fret, and that's going to be the fourth shape, so fourth fret. So it's going to be. <laughs> it's hard when you're watching yourself uh, opposite, and and then you're trying to explain it. So you know you've got to give me a bit of leeway. So if that's on the fifth and that's on the fourth, you can see it has to be that diagonal shape to create that. So if it's on the same fret, you would use your third finger here. And then the, if it's on a different fret, you use your first finger to create the different. So uh, this second finger is always on this string and it's alternating between that shape and that shape. So just practice them, keeping this here. So if you look at the music, if I go to it, that's what it looks like. We've got on the very first one, it's 14, 13, 14. So this finger here needs to go on 14, and because it's a different number, 14, 13, it is going to be this shape. So that's on 14, that's 13. Now let's do the pattern on there. So fourth string, third string, first string, third string. So, okay, you're starting to hear the song now. So I'll just show you the next one, 12 and 12. So you've got to move this finger to the 12, and because it's 12 and 12, it's going to be this shape. You can see they're both on 12 now, and do the pattern. So let's find the next uh, shape, is 10 and 10. So we can keep this shape, because it's the same number, and we move it down to the 10. Okay, and the next shape is nine and eight. So we move this finger always first, nine, and then it's on the, the next fret, so it's got to be an eight. So it's that shape. So you've got 14, 13, 12s, 10s, and then nine and eight. So you might want to pause the video, have a little practice of that, and now. Uh, Go on to the next uh, line. So you can see it goes five and five. So we want to go to this parallel shape. Get this on the fifth. And then the next one is four and three. So we move this one to four. This one's three, so it's that shape. And then 
it plays then three strings together on four and three so you can stay there and then it plays them three strings together but this is a two and a one so that looks like this and you pick them together so the last bit is four three two and one so 14 13 12 and 12 10 and 10 9 and 8 5 and 5 4 and 3 and then pinch that move it down to 2 and 1 Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think down below. Thank you.